For many years, there has been a debate about who is the GOAT in mixed martial arts, and there is no consensus on this. Many consider this John Jones. A lot of people say it's Connor, and fans of Khabib Nurmagomedov think that this is Khabib. But the head of USC, Dana White, has his own opinion. But many do not agree with this. Khabib fans were outraged when he did not include Nurmagomedov even in the top five best fighters. Let's see why he didn't include Khabib even in the top five best fighters. Where does the concept of the word GOAT come from? And at the end of the video, let's see, according to Dana White, who the real GOAT is today. I think you'll be surprised. So let's go. The USC president deeply respects the Russian athlete, but regularly emphasizes that an early departure does not allow Khabib to claim the status of the best fighter in the promotion's history. So this time, answering a reporter's question, White made his list of the main UFC legends and did not include the undefeated champion with a record of 29-0. He said, it's hard to say if Khabib is the greatest. Who knows what he could have achieved in his career? But he ended very early. And John Jones is likely to fight at heavyweight this year. I would probably call Jones the greatest fighter of all time. I tried to bring Khabib back more than once, but we'll see what happens next. My personal top five, John Jones, Anderson Silva, Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor, George St. Pierre, but I will say right away that I would like to include many more guys here. Usman, for example, Dana said in a conversation with GQ Sports. Of course, White's opinion immediately angered Habib fans, a guy with a record of 29-0 who dethroned Conor McGregor himself and is not even in the top five fighters but the USC president does have arguments. The main one is leaving too early. Nurmagomedov spent only three title defenses, after which he retired, not having time to meet with the same Charles Oliver, who now dominates the lightweight division. On the other hand, the Brazilian was not close to being a top fighter then. Nurmagomedov dismantled all the real lightweight stars, leaving not a single chance. Perhaps the Eagle did not always win spectacularly, his style was quite cautious and pragmatic. But the fact remains, Khabib defeated all the tops very confidently. He is said to have only lost a few rounds in his entire career in the UFC. But is he a GOAT? Who can be considered the greatest? What does it mean? Many do not know that Muhammad Ali called himself the greatest in the first, and his wife documented this. I must be the greatest. Uh -huh. I told the world. I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me. I shook up the world. I am the king of the world. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. In 1964, Cassius Clay and Sonny Liston fought for the title of absolute world boxing champion. Ring Magazine called the fight both the best fight and the disappointment of the decade. Clay won between the rounds at the break. Liston said about a shoulder injury and refused to continue. A year later, they held a rematch where Clay knocked out Liston almost immediately. Cassius Clay is Muhammad Ali. It was after the fight in 1964 that he changed his name. At the same time, 22-year-old Ali called himself the greatest athlete of all time for the first time. I am the greatest. Am I the greatest of all time? I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. This abbreviation, G-O-A-T, stands for the greatest of all time. Hence, the goat emoji encrypt G-O-A-T in Tales of Greatness. After that, who can be called the goat? This word means Muhammad Ali himself. And what do you think? Who can even get close to the greatness of Ali? Who? Conor McGregor? Yes, he took the UFC to the next level. He is undeniably a genius, and I want to emphasize that he was a good fighter. But is he a GOAT? I don't think so. Jones really was the best fighter of his time. St. Pierre and Silva are also big stars. But to call them GOATs? Well, I don't know. I guess I don't agree with Dana. So I want to ask you guys to write who you consider a GOAT in the comments. And Habib Nurmagomedov did a very important thing for the UFC. Thanks to him, UFC began to watch the entire Middle East. But for this, I don't know if you can call him a GOAT. But it was not Khabib's merit, but White's strategy. But he won't include Nurmagomedov, even in the top five best fighters. I think it's wrong. 
if not the greatest, then in the top 5 best fighters. Let's be honest, he deserves to be. But maybe White wants to influence Khabib's pride in this way so that he returns to the octagon. He's already tried. This fight with Poirier is trending bigger than the fight with you and Connor on pay-per-view. Imagine what you and Connor would do in another fucking fight. Just saying. I'm just saying. Therefore, perhaps this is another attempt by the head of the UFC to return Khabib so that he continues his career and simultaneously tries to become one of the greatest fighters. But I think that the return of the Eagle is impossible. On the other hand, Dana has another fighter who could have the same impact on the mixed martial arts industry as former UFC double champion Conor McGregor. When asked which fighter on the current roster has the potential to have the same impact on the UFC as Conor McGregor, he replied, maybe Hamza Chimaev. Let's see, said Dana. Of course, he knows better who he wants to consider as a replacement for Conor. Honestly, I don't mind. I'm a fan of Hamza Chimaev. I love this fire, but compare him with McGregor or call him a goat, it's still a wound. He has a lot to do in front of him to be called the greatest. What do you think about it? I'm very interested in your opinion. But does Hamza have a chance to become the greatest? Write in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps our channel grow.